so friends in my previous video I talked about the seven essential tools of quality and I gave the broad overview of these seven tools of quality various tools of quality used especially in project management the people those who are PMP aspirants must understand these tools are very important you are going to have the question out of these so uh, in continuation today I will be talking about detailed understanding of process flow diagram or we call it process flow chart or we call it run chart so what is this why it is used and how does it help a project manager in his working so uh, let me first tell you what is flow chart or run chart this is basic quality tool that can be used for analyzing a sequence of events you have multiple sequence of events at some sequence you might have to uh, take some decision decision go in yes or no then if yes what should be done if no what should be done so all these things are designed in pictorial representation pictorial representation really helps you to understand how your process is flowing in the in particular particular sequence of events it maps out a sequence of event that take place sequentially or in parallel you can really understand that when you design the process helps to understand a complete process in order to find the relationship and dependency between events you just can't do it in the mind if you if you chalk it out on the paper you jot down on the paper you start designing on the paper immediately you can understand oh here is the relationship here is the dependencies it helps to get brief idea about critical path of the process how the critical path is created what process should be followed where we are today you can always mark that and it illustrates complex process in simple way easy to understand I said picture representation is always easy to, easy to understand there are specific software tool like MS Visio we have uh, uh, you can also use Excel you can also use PowerPoint you can also use Word to design such flowchart and these these I'm just giving a simple explanation though uh, I'll try to show what are the um, basic I mean um, shapes you can use to create a flowchart this this particular shape is used for terminator like start or end this is used as decision box and this denotes process so these are basic understanding and when you when you are creating a business flow when you are creating a process diagram yes you are using this but if you are creating a flow chart which is complete detailed one there are there are multiple shapes which you might have to use so this is just a sample just a sample of uh, customer support center for example start as i said it is terminator so it is start you answer phone how can i help you it is uh, related with product or helping place order you must have uh, heard i mean nowadays the recorded voice press one for this press two for this press three for this so it goes like this only so then if it is product info then take company name transfer of sales and finish if it is something different then you need to go to process number this is uh, again uh, joint you're going to pro process number one sub process number one customer service what is the problem if it is shipping process number three if it is billing process number two else take name of any company take name and uh, company of the caller transfer to help desk and extension is also written there and finish so immediately you can understand if I receive a call in support center what should be the process and these are the process joining another process so this is a sample process for process flow diagram so uh, if you have any question or query pertaining to this please drop a comment I will just get back to you with the reasonable answer next i'm going to talk about cause and effect or ishikawa or fishbone these are different name of only one diagram and we will get there subscribe to my channel amanwats take care thank you very much